recognize the divine factor in the affairs of men then you begin to engage in bitter struggles and fights and it brings you no result whatsoever it is said that officers in the military academy are taught to aim to become the army commander. They should only not kill together. In this country, we have a spirit of envy that comes from people in this nation when they come into political power. From when I've been growing up, when people come into political power, they are, they are always envious of those they took over from. And they do everything to destroy them. And their legacy. When would we ever have a government take over from another government and say the previous government did a good job? It doesn't happen. We are so envious that we waste the nation's resources by not continuing the projects of the previous government. In, in 1999, during the Rawlings regime, just before he went out of office, and San Obe free office, no, and some galloper vehicles he had imported came in 110. Now, a and so they left 86 of them new ones. Now, when the Kufua government came, now can you show me the pictures? These were the gallopers. We any gallopers? No. The Kufua government didn't use it. They didn't give it out until in nine, uh, in 2014, from 1999. A judgment that was passed on the payment of those gallopers, and the country had to pay six billion Ghana cities or one billion dollars in, in favor of African Automobile Company Limited. This was reported by City News Duke Opoku on the 5th of July 2017. City News and a then after Kufuo, now Kufuo so etino. During his time, he he wanted to deal with the housing deficit. They said the housing deficit was about five hundred thousand. Now one in the mono. Now what can say? A year fear you hear. Say you deba man Kufuo. So in two thousand and six, in two thousand and six, President Kufuo initiated the more affordable housing project. In the first year, a year no. As well as the Kumasi and the Bohim Botemai in the Greater Accra region. At the cost of $300 million. Funded with taxpayers money. Over 1,500 of these units that were started. Were completed in the uh, Nungwa area there. That is what you see. I don't need the Till today, ever since it has not been occupied. The Jomama government came and did not occupy it. Jomama also came. so by built schools and was this year school day. And build schools. No, CC Square die. And in some of the places where he builds schools, you see the entrance to the school. The building was complete. The MPP government will not use it. MPP are buying. And so in those communities, we still have children who write or who sit on the floor. He, he also did affordable housing in the 
Dawenya area. Our Dawenya family. They are complete. But because of politics, nobody is inhabiting it. Our governments behave as if the monies for the development are their personal monies instead of the Ghanaian taxpayers' money. Our politicians don't respect the citizens and our taxes. They don't feel accountable to us. So they mismanage our meager resources. Unfortunately, our journalists who are supposed to be watchmen who should hold public figures or public officers to do the right thing today, today they are behaving like those three monkeys they see no evil they, they hear no evil they speak no evil they have become dumb dogs in Isaiah 56 verse 10 the Bible says his watchmen are blind they are ignorant they are dumb dogs they cannot back they are sleeping they are lying down they love to slumber in the past journalists did investigative reporting today they are dumb they cannot back so are our clergymen and women. our clergy who should be saying it on the rooftops because many of these politicians go to our churches or the mosques but the clergy we have become dumb dogs we are acting as if we don't see what is happening instead of teaching them the electorate made up of our church members to hold our governments accountable we, we are competing in our visions about who will win the elections and who will, who will die and who will lose in the, in the past it used to be only some Christian clergymen doing these confused things today Muslim clerics are doing the same when you google you see Muslim clerics predicting who win 2020 elections we, we must come to the place where irrespective of our political affiliations we tell the government you cannot use our financial resources recklessly like this when you come into power you must continue with the project that the other government left otherwise, otherwise we will vote you out or otherwise we will go on demonstration till you leave our politicians make reckless financial decisions and go to borrow money to do similar uncompleted projects and they keep piling bills for the next generation over the years from a young from being a young man I have seen the spirit of envy lead politicians to close down industries and businesses of our own people when I was growing up BA Mensa the builder and founder of International Tobacco Ghana Limited built this thing 
Now we see at the was a mighty industry. Now a Juma Kasiek. And then a government came. And a baby a buyer. And said he had been given tax break. He said he had been given tax break. The government said finally they took it. And he say, uh San Kobeti ya to be no yachano and I in the year yana say a chief. As a young preacher, when I came to Accra. I'll never forget in 1995 or 96, B.A. Mensah, this honorable man. He visited, he visited me in my house at Adenta. Adenta. To ask me to pray with him no, okay, so man, no, 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 about his property that I've been taking from him so many years. I remember JK Sion, Mikai JK Sion, who established the first indigenous brewery in West Africa, Tata Brewery. Which was taken over. I know some of his children when they come from the UK, they come to church here. I know Edianan, who used to own the Masaya Company Limited. They imported seat cars. They were the, I, they were the IBM representatives who brought computers into Ghana. He owned Damien shipyards that brought in tug boats. They were the dealers in Kama Heisters, giant forklifts. That lifts containers. They Brought in the Chalong haulage contracts. And a Chalong haulage contract. Uh, contract. Because they were perceived to be the financier of an opposition party, yes, his, business, his business was collapsed. Yes, Those demons that possess our political leaders when they get into political power. It's still at work today. And we must exercise this nation. We must exercise this nation from that demon. Otherwise, we are not going for it. Reverend is to the number, my friend says. Reverend is to the number, my friend says. I quote, the spirit of envy turns a human being into a beast. It makes one restless and sets him or her on a mission to destroy good things and good people. I quote, Can we say that all the industries and firms we have closed down in this regime? So was because all the people and companies were wrong. And we could not have done anything to have preserved these great companies. I've been asking myself. So for Kwabna before, under whose time as Minister of Finance, we have the best economic growth rate of 14%. There was nothing we could have done with this bank to keep it. What about Dr. Park Wesindu? Who introduced or expanded Susu banking? And branches all over the nation than any commercial bank with more customers. Then my own Amwabi. Who helped me grow my money, my, my little investments? Because every month, every six months, I'll, I'll save my money for six months and then I'll go and put it there. And then when it's time to roll over the next six months, I would have had another six months and added it to it. And then 
He helped me grow my money to my first one hundred thousand dollars. Which I withdrew and gave in the building of the dome as part of my contribution. Could nothing have been done to salvage some of these great institutions? I know some of the I know some of the other Oh, managers and owners were reckless and some of them were rogues some of them bought, I mean in three years they bought 10 cars for, for their personal use we should be able to preserve some of the industries we have the truth of the matter is that in ghana we are more tolerant of foreign companies than ghanaian owned companies we give foreign companies tax break tax breaks for years because they are investors coming to help build the nation some of these foreigners come here with nothing but our, banks, but our banks will give them big time loans then they will give Ghanaian based companies our local companies cannot compete with foreign companies our local importers cannot compete with foreign importers Many of our companies would rather produce their goods outside and come and sell them here. Because it is cheaper than producing it here. We tax our local industries who keep their monies here. Till suffocation. Meanwhile, foreign companies don't keep their monies here. They always repatriate their profits. And we keep lamenting why our city is always chasing the dollar. And never catches it. It is because of this capital flight. As a country, we can't stand the success of our own people. We make it difficult in this country for people to enjoy their blessings from God. On 9th March 1979, the government announced the introduction of new CD notes. To replace the old ones at a discount of 30% for amounts up to 5,000 CDs. If you have up to 5,000, you lose 30%. And if you had more than 5,000, you lost 50%. Prophet, Professor J. Clark Lee says J. Clark Lee. in his document on Ghana, long-term growth, atrophy, and recovery, he, he states in 1982 while bank deposits in excess of 50,000 50, cities that could not be justified were confiscated market women and farmers were forced to sell food at controlled prices such arbitrary actions exacerbated the mistrust with which all economic agents both corrupt and honest viewed the regime unquote. Uh, uh, who wants, uh, today and uh, 
There's the same kind of mistrust. Uh, yes, sir. I receive my new Because if you had money that was with an investment firm, it's a sec. No, it was the, uh, the 347 microfinance companies and 28 savings and loans and finance houses that were closed. Uh, yes, sir. You may go ahead. You lost the value of over fifty percent. If you had more than seventy thousand Ghana cedis, you are given an option of a five-year interest-free bond, and or you can discount and get fifty percent of your money now, and the rest you forfeit it. And now I would a move better move you know the furniture near the farmhouse. So whatever it is, it is quite be around. You lose fifty percent. Oh, shre a moon to moon you know. And meanwhile, the 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 same bank being used. Now, as our bank of Corona, you did you mean the CBG? Yes, CBG gives loans. They give loans. And as for those loans, when you take them, you have to pay interest. In Ghana, we keep repeating this vicious cycle. Where we keep envying, we keep destroying, we keep because of the spirit of envy people rather keep their wealth overseas and die and the money is left there we think that to succeed we need to pull down the one who is ahead of us in Ghana we don't have a problem if a foreigner comes to buy a property in village you or Trasaco. Or cantonments. But when a Ghanaian buys a property in any of these places, we have a problem. Yeah, well, how? So the truth is that today, as I'm talking to you, the majority of the houses in Trasaco are owned by foreigners, not Ghanaians. No wonder we hardly have people owning jets in this country. We are probably two. Because if somebody owned a jet, we will talk and bring them down. And our government will also find a way to criminalize them and close them down. It is like crabs in a tray. They keep pulling one another down, and so none of them is able to climb out. In Chi, there's a proverb. It says, if, if, if you cannot allow that which belongs to another to flourish, you cannot have your own. Beloved, God made the sky so wide that, that my success does not prevent you from being successful. And vice versa. So you can succeed. And I can succeed. And God is not moved. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hardly do we see two eagles collide in the sky. Eagles are big birds. But they don't collide in the sky. Hardly do we see two aeroplanes crashing in, crashing in the skies. If you see planes crashing, mostly they crash on the ground where there is traffic. Or during, or during takeoff and landing. What I'm saying is that if successful people in Ghana are not envious to destroy other successful people, there will be enough for all of us. Amen. Amen. As a nation, I 
occupying the spirit of envy over this nation and i ask that that principality that has been perpetuating this vicious cycle will break its hold over the land in the name of jesus in Proverbs chapter 27 verse 24. It says riches are not forever. Lord does a crown endure to all generations. If you are in power today. You may not be in power tomorrow. If you are rich today. You may not be rich tomorrow. And so as a people. We must remember. That riches and power are not forever. In Daniel chapter 4, verse 17, he says, This decision is by the decree of the watchers. And the sentence by the word of the holy ones. In order that the living may know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men. And gives it to whomever he will. Now the man will be and sets over it the lowest of men. And now face one on a bread. The Bible says promotion does not come from the east nor from the west. Bible says uh Yaba Subo and free up. It is God who lifts up one. And you're mean the page will be and brings down another. As a people, let's remember and say uh my man or yankai that wealth. And power and to me are not forever. And let's protect our own. Let God bless our homeland Ghana. And keep this nation great and strong.